welcome to Maggie's Messy Speakeasy. Where the drinks are cheap, <laughs> and so is the liquor. Where the drinks are cheap, and so is the bartender. Where the drinks are cheap, <laughs> and so is the fun. The drinks, they just keep flowing just like the jokes, you know? Good evening! <laughs> or should I say good afternoon? Welcome back to Maggie's Messy Kitchen 2021 edition! Yay! Uh, since it's the new year, I thought why not start out with a fun duo of cocktails. So I put a poll out on my Instagram earlier if you guys think I should make a whiskey sour or an old fashioned. And everyone so far has been saying whiskey sour. I only put the poll out about like two hours ago, but I'm impatient. I had an idea for this video doing like a 2021 like speakeasy vibes, you know, because we were all so excited for 2020 because like we were like, oh, night roaring 20s, speakeasy, fun prohibition, fun outfits. But then it turned into the storm that it was and it still is. So we're just gonna like roll with what we feel inspired to do. I had two friends from upstate New York message me and be like, you need to make the New York whiskey sour. So we're gonna make that and then we're gonna make a mezcal whiskey sour because I love this mezcal. So for this New York whiskey sour, we are going to need some rye whiskey or bourbon, juice of a lemon, simple syrup, which I'm actually gonna start making right now, one egg white and half an ounce of red wine. So there's really not that much to it. So right now I'm just gonna get started making the simple syrup, which is just, I'm just gonna do a half cup sugar to a half cup water, and I'm just gonna boil it for a hot sec. So I'm just gonna work this in here. This cute little measuring cup. So we're just gonna let this kind of simmer and we're gonna wait until the sugar dissolves into the hot water. And we're just gonna let her cool until she's like good to use. While we're waiting for the simple sugar to cool, I'm going to start cutting the simple syrup. What did I say? Simple sugar. Oh. Well, the simple sugar is cooling on the stove. Simple I'm gonna... syrup. What did I say? You keep saying simple sugar. Oh my god. <laughs> While the simple sugar. <laughs> While the simple syrup is cooling on the stove, I'm going to cut these lemons. Okay, so we're just gonna cut her open. I think we only need one. Show us your lemons. These are my lemons. <laughs> Gorgeous creatures. They're like little eyes. Ah. Okay, well, I'm getting impatient. Uh -oh. It's still steaming. Ugh. It's really hot. I'm gonna put it in the fridge. Okay, so where were we? <laughs> so we made our simple syrup in this little jar, and we let her cool in the freezer. So now let's get to mixing. Two ounces of whiskey. One, two, and then we're gonna do one ounce of freshly squeezed lemon juice. Ah, oh, yeah, just pretend I'm your bartender at the speakeasy bar that you go to after work on a Friday night. That's some nice juice. That's some nice juice. Picture this: the year is 1920. You get off of work in the Flatiron Building, you stroll down the street, you hop over to the, the Red Door on 9th Ave and 53rd Street, and the doorman takes you in, and he takes you back, and there's old Jim behind the bar. Jim! There you are, my boy. What do you want? Oh, the usual whiskey sour. I see. Okay, that's one ounce of lemon juice. <laughs> Three-fourths ounce of simple syrup. And now, the fun part, the egg. <laughs> the egg. So these are my egg whites. I'm gonna put this into my shaker. And then, I'm just gonna dry shake that. Speakeasy style. Ooh. 
So I just added ice to my shaker, so now I'm going to shake this with ice. that hard since I shaked on, on the Broadway. Okay, so I'm going to pour this out. Ooh. Ooh, she's creamy. So you can see she's developing like a nice little like head right here of the foam. Mm -hmm. That's from the egg white. Cute. Now I'm gonna take my bar spoon, pour a half ounce of red wine, and then me, the non-professional bartender, is going to attempt to float it over the bar spoon. All right, here we go. Oh, I didn't do a good job. But I mean, it has a nice like color to it, I guess. We could add like a little cherry to it. Bada bing, bada boom. So we'll just take that and we'll dollop her right there. Gorgeous. So this is our New York whiskey sour. Pretty. Okay, I'm gonna try this now. What do you think, Maggie? Mm. It's fresh. It's fruity. Wow. It's really good. I think you should try it though. Yeah, okay. How is it? What's the verdict? Ooh. I know, good. right? The wine really sells it. Mm -hmm. It really makes it unique. A unique New York original from the speakeasy days. Oh! What are you doing, Margaret? I'm looking to see which one of our neighbors just got. Okay, so we just made our New York sour, our classic whiskey sour with a little twist. And now we're gonna make a big twist. We're gonna make a mezcal sour using this mezcal that I just got. Mm. Are you excited? I am excited. So excited. So this one calls for mezcal Amaro. I don't have Amaro, but I do have this Aperol, so I'm just gonna use this. Lime juice. And then we have some agave nectar and our other eggy boy <laughs> for our beautiful egg white moment. And some Agostura bitters. I think we just like put that on top. Okay, so let's get this show on the road, shall we? Okay, so first I'm going to do one and a half ounces of fresh lime juice. of our mezcal. One ounce of our Italian aperitif. One teaspoon of agave nectar. And now it's time for the egg white. If you're looking for techniques on how to separate the egg from the white, Maybe look somewhere else. Okay, so I'm gonna add my egg whites into my shaker. And we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna dry shake. Add ice to our shaker now. Shall we have a dance? But it has like a way, like whereas this one was like kind of light and fruity, this one is definitely like smoky and alcoholic. Now I'm going to try the new age speakeasy, speakeasy cocktail. <laughs> oh, ooh. Yeah, that's like a bowl. This is strong. Yeah. But, it has, but it's still like nice and fruity and light at the right. same time. I forgot to add Angostura bitters to this one. I got way too excited. So I'm just gonna 
Do a couple little dashes on top. There we go. There we go. Easy fix. <laughs> Let's do a side by side. Here I come. Here he is. <laughs> this is a New York whiskey sour. Very light, fruity. It's, it's like easy. Now this is the mezcal sour. This is like way more like, whoa. Which do you think you like more? This one's like, you could drink like three or four of those. This one you have like one and you're like, toodles. If I wanted to speak a little louder, I would go for the new version. But if you want to speak easy, <laughs> go for the New York classic. I think I like this one a little better. It's because like it's, it's more OG. Oh, there we go. <laughs> one for you, one for me. One for you, one for me. Cheers. Cheers, darling. Cheers. Speak easy to me now. To the Roaring Twenties. Speak easy to each other this year, why don't you? Roaring Twenties both old and new. Roaring Twenty again. <laughs> Let's try again. So I hope you enjoyed our two variations on a classic whiskey sour, the New York Sour and the Mezcal Sour. If you make this at home, please let me know and please send me pictures. I love seeing when people create things that I show them. Like and comment and subscribe and all those things. I have all my other handles down in the description box. Also the original recipes to these drinks will be down there. I hope you've had a happy-ish start to 2021. We're gonna get through it y'all and we're gonna make a mess. Cheers! <laughs>